Welcome learners to the Library Information Science program for senior secondary level. I am Dr. Priya Rai. Well, in a previous program, we have learned about the library and information science services for the users. You have been provided an account of information needs of library users and an overview of types of services provided by the libraries to meet the need of the users. Well, in this lesson, we learn in detail about the traditional library services, responsive and anticipatory, how these services are provided and what impact the information and communication technology is an provision of these services. Well, traditional library services, responsive and anticipatory. Libraries traditionally provide a variety of services to the users by organizing their collection for ease of access and availability. They build upon tools to information what document resources they have and also to assist users in getting any information needed. In this lesson, you will learn in detail about how these services are provided and what impact the information and communication technology provide on the provisions of the services. Well, the objective of the module is to explain the role of traditional library services. It identifies the categories of traditional services and like responsive and anticipatory, list out various responsive and anticipatory services. It also describes the need and functions of the responsive services and anticipatory services in libraries. It also provides an overview with the examples of responsive and anticipatory services. Traditional library services. Well, library services are generally known as reference and information services which we have learned in the previous chapter. They are considered to be most essential and important of all the activities of the libraries. In order to organize and operate these services effectively and efficiently to the fullest satisfaction of the users, they are broadly divided into two distinct categories. First is responsive and another is anticipatory. Responsive services. Responsive services are offered in response to the request from the users for making use of library tools and facilities or help users in obtaining answers to any type of reference questions. The request may be come from the users in person over a telephone or through a correspondence or via email or online or internet. The technology now allow users to submit their request to the library at any time from any place in the world. These services are assistance in a use of library as a tool, lending services or circulation services, interlibrary loan, reference services, literature search, compilation of the subject bibliography, photocopy services, referral services and translation services. Types of reference services, there are many types of reference services. Some of them are long range reference services, literature search, compilation of the subject bibliography. Well, now we will discuss about the long range reference services. It is generally provided to a specialist who is seeking information for research for delivering a lecture for writing a paper or for solving any problem. Information sought may be too specialized in nature, recent, related to another period or another language. Well, to handle such long range in intercalate reference questions, there are certain set procedures and practice which are generally followed so that the research for the query is in the right direction and the information collected is acceptable to the users. The foremost and most important step here is to have personal dialogue with the users refers called as a reference interview. Well, reference interviews helps to know the query thoroughly, the purpose for which the information is sought, the background of the user and the type of information source required. A reader specializing in sociology, this is an example, and involved in a special study of children literature wanted to know if there is any analogy of the Cinderella myth in India, children's literature. After a 
reference interview, it come to know that the person was working on a folk literatures. Search under the subject heading folk tales in library catalog, gave a citation of books on a collection of Duncan tales. The book was located in a library and was consulted. Well, long range reference services on the basis of time involved, sources of information used and the nature of information sought, researchers level questions which required extended search, several hours in a time like day, minutes or months or long period of continued basis for search. Due to the long period of search time, it is known as a long range reference services. It is complex, detailed, involved long research process and involves more than one reference sources. Literature search is, is a systematic search for a published material on a specific topic. This services is concerned with searching and locating the document in response to the specific request from the users that we have learned. To meet information need of the researchers, especially the scientists, technologists, social scientists, etc. at times, extensive literature search are carried out in several sources like books, periodicals, non-book materials, etc. Well, uh, a query such as, I have to write a paper on different breeds of the horses. Where can I find the some information or I have to make a comparative study of republic versus democratic forms of the government. Where can I find the information? Such queries depends upon the user's need, lead to carry out specific searches, finding the required document and giving it to the right user. This type of service is also known as long range services. While in ready reference or short range reference services, the answer is mostly in a form of a data or facts that is short answers from reference book. In long range services, the answer is in a form of one or more documents containing the information. Thus, the literature search is one case in more ex exhaustive both in deep depth and ranges. To complete this exhaustive search, it is may take several weeks and eventually may lead to the second step namely compilation of bibliography on the subject. Compilation of bibliography, well subject bibliographies are compiled by the libraries on the request of the users. Sometimes bibliographies are compiled on a regular basis in anticipation of the users need. At times bibliographies are compiled on special occasion such as during the seminar, workshop to provide the participant with the latest literature on the subject. There, in manual search, printed sources are consulted. The basic step in manual search and compilation of bibliographies are as follows. First, we have to understand the subject, taking a decision on a scope coverage period, formation of a search strategy, searching secondary sources and primary sources, arrangement of the end trees, then preparation of an index and finally supply the bibliography. This is the search process of manual search. So there are basic steps to fulfill the search process. We will going to discuss about the different steps how the search process in manual could be done. First step understanding the subject. In this step the exact subject to be searched and related areas to be covered are identified. For this, subject dictionaries, subject encyclopedias are consulted when in doubt. Here, personal interaction with the user is also very important to know the subject scope and the purpose for which information is required. Taking a decision, the second step is taking a decision on a scope, coverage and period. This is also really very really important. In this step, a decision is taken on the scope, coverage and period of subject bibliography. Scope specifies whether the bibliography should be comprehensive or a selected. Coverage specifies the types of document to be covered like periodicals, articles, books, theses, reports, etc. And period specify 
whether bibliography should be current or retrospective means from the previous chapters or previous years. For this, personal interaction with the user is known as the reference interview which is really very important. In reference interview helps, what, are, what it helps the query thoroughly, the purpose for which information is required, the background of the user, subject scope, type and period of document to be covered, what the user has already consulted and time frame within which information is required. The third step is the formulation of search strategy. Well, in this step a systematic plan for conducting the search is formulated. This involves selecting keywords to represent the subject identifying, abstracting and indexing periodicals on a particular subject, searching secondary and primary sources. This is one of the important step in <coughs> reference query. In the step indexing and primary periodicals are searched to identify and retrieve relevant items for the bibliography and finally primary sources are consulted to find more recent information. The fifth step is preparation of entries. In this step, an entry is prepared for each item that is identified as relevant. Each entry is noted down on a card so that later on these entries can be arranged in a systematic order. Well, each entry is written in a standard format and contain sufficient information to identify the document. To write bibliographical detail in standard format, national and international standards are generally followed. The step 6 is arrangement of entries. Well, the entries are arranged in some convenient order to facilitate browsing. If number of entries in a bibliography is small, the entries are arranged alphabetical, author-wise or chronological by year of publication. If it is large, the entries are arranged in a classified order or under broad subject heading. Well, the next step is preparation of index. Well, in these steps, various indexes such as title, author, subjects are created. They are prepared to provide multiple means of access of the users. Index are prepared mainly for large bibliographies. Well, supply of bibliography. Well, the last step is to get the subject bibliography is typed to deliver it as a final product in, in required form and format to the user. Well learners, the search process, now we will discuss about the computer based search process. With the introduction of web based graphical use interface, the task of online searching has become quite easy. Most of the online e-databases produces and CD-ROMs products offer a free training module where an novice user can search the database step by step and retrieve the required information. Uh, to conduct effective and efficient search, one has to familiarize oneself with the various search and retrieval options available with specific electronic database before searching. Well, basic step for conducting computer based searching and online searching. Well, the steps are, first step is to understanding the subject, then taking the decision on the scope, coverage and period, getting connected with the internet, lodging on a search service provider, then selecting the appropriate database. Step 6 is formulating the search expression, then selecting the appropriate format for display of record, reformulating the search expressions if required and finally selecting the mode of del delivery. Now, we will discuss in detail about it. The first two steps are step 1 and step 2 are the same as a manual search. Now, we will discuss about the step 3, getting connected to the internet. To search online e-database, an internet connection is required. In addition to the internet connection, one need to register with an online search service providers that provide access to the database for the searching. Online search services providers may be vendors like EBSCO, Emerald or any other 
providing access to number of databases from different publishers or a publisher providing online access to the own database like WH Wilson and Company. CAL's Chemical Abstract Services is a kind of database which provides the information about the chemistry and other subjects. Now step 4 is logging on a search service provider. Well to log on one should know the web address of the search service provider. For example for MRAL which we have discussed it, it has its web address as http double slash www.mraldinside.com slash. Well this is the web address of MRAL if you we'll type it on a Google we will reach to the web page of the MRAL. To access the search, the database has to enter the user's ID and password which is provided when a user registered with the search service providers. The next step is selecting the appropriate database. This is really very important. Most search services providers allow users to browse their database categories to select an appropriate database. Well, after that formulation of search expression, well in this this requires selection of appropriate terms or phrase for selecting a database. Well, many databases have their own specialized vocabulary which we call the thesaurus. For selecting a database, one can select appropriate terms and phrase for this. Well, selecting the appropriate format for display of record. This is the step 7. Well, most of the databases offer these options. When search terms are entered into the system, the database start displaying the records that matches the search expression to browse the full record or brief record for the selection. Well, in step 5, formulating the search expression. Well, if search results are not satisfactory, one can formulate the search statement. Online search is usually a repetitive process where the user conducts several searches compares the results and modifies the search statement or conduct a new search in order to get the best result. Well, the last step is selecting the mode of delivery. One can download all the selected records online on a local computer or offline printout by an email. Well, viewers, we have discussed about the search process of manual and computers. Now we will come to the anticipatory services and what are its basic needs. Services provided in anticipation of the demand of the user are called anticipatory services. Well, this service is also known as the active services because in advance we give the information to the user without asking him or without demanding it from the library staff. The need of these services are felt because there is a tremendous growth of published literature particularly in the area of science and technology. Interdisciplinary nature of research areas resulting in scattering of information in discipline, different disciplines. Publications of research results in different types of sources and its different formats. Well, Types, what are the types of anticipatory services? A wide range of anticipatory services are provided by different type of libraries. Some of them are preparation a list of reading material. We have discussed about the current awareness services in which we prepare the current detailed list of the book accessioned we, uh, and send it to the user. Content by journal service means we provide table of content to the users of the magazines and the journals. Selective dissemination of the information where the selective information is given to the user on the specific subject and newspaper clipping services there are lot of good newspaper uh, topics have come uh, in the newspapers and of the relevant subject we provide it to the users. Indexing and abstracting services is really very important which we have discussed and most importantly is the user education to educate the user where the information in the library has been placed whether it is in print format or it is in electronic format how to access the electronic e-format of the information to make the user by use of various different orientation programs. Well preparation the list of reading material. Well in school for the benefit of the students and teacher list of textbooks in addition to the prescribed textbooks, reference books and journal article on specific topics are usually prepared in advance to help 
and assist user in their term project and other related work. Well, special list and bibliography with annotations are prepared in advance for events such as inter-school college competition comprising oratical contexts, debates on a topic of current interest. Well, other types of library also such as spe special list of literature may be prepared in advance for forthcoming event and, and the activities. Well, current awareness services, this is really very important services for the library. Well, in these services, ongoing services such that enables one to monitor new information on regular basis. These type of services offer under the category we have discussed accession list, content by general service, table of content service provider, SDI, selective dissemination of information services and newspaper clipping services. Well, selective dissemination of services in this user profile is created, then document databases are, are being made, then it is matched, mechanism is there, we have to match the document which we have prepared, when, then we send a notification to the uh, specific users use of the where he has to take the information then a feedback mechanism is prepared and modification of profile is there if the interest of the user is changed then we modify the profiles of the user. The next important uh, service is indexing and abstracting services apart from current awareness services that deals with the current literature indexing and abstracting services are provided for accessing book, periodical articles, monograph, technical reports and such other types of publication for retrospective services. Indexing and abstracting services, bibliography entry of these documents are prepared according to the standard procedure, systematically arranged, organized and brought at a regular interview along with the indexing. Well, indexing services index each document along with the full bibliographical detail so that particular document is identified and traced. Well, abstracting services provide a concise summary of the entire content of the document also. The summary enables the user to identify the basic content of the document quickly and determines its relevance to his research area. At times, a well prepared summary or abstracts serve as a substitute of the document. These days, commercial indexing and abstracting services are available in most of the discipline and are all of them are available in machine readable format and can be searched on the computer using internet. The library search the requisite database and provide the services and supplement it with the in-house resources. Well viewers, it is really important to educate your users uh, who comes to the library. One of the important step in educating the user is the familiarization by various orientation program. Well, number of user studies conducted in different countries have revealed the fact that only a few users make optimum use of the various kinds of bibliographical reference tools, particularly the secondary and tertiary tools for literature search. To familiarize with the different kind of valuable search tools, training in the use these types of tools has been considered desirable. Formal courses are offered in research and university library to those who are interested in these training facilities. Imparting formal training courses to the user is commonly referred as a user education program. Well, search courses have to be planned programmed and offered with the labels appropriate to the label of all type of users group. Sometimes instructional material can also be prepared to supplement these trainings. Well viewers, let's recap what we have learned in this module. Well in this unit, we have learned that traditional library stocks various kinds of reading materials and processes and service them for the use of variety of users. These use services are organized in two groups, responsive and anticipatory services. Responsive services are those that are offered to the users who make personal visits to the library and send requests through the mails or through telephone message. Whereas 
anticipatory services are provided in anticipation of the demand of the user. Well, the service under responsive service comprise providing assistance to the use of the library and its tools like lending services, reference services, literature cells, compilation of bibliographies, photocopy services, reference services and translation services. Well, reference services of two type, short range reference service and long range reference service. Short range reference service deals with providing answers to the fact, finding questions, using standard reference tools, long range reference services provided in response to the request from the specialist and deals with literature search, finding the request document and providing them to the user. Where services under anticipatory services comprising preparation of reading material, current awareness servicing, indexing and abstractive services and user education. Well, current awareness services keep user abreast of the current development in their field of interest. Current awareness service comprising preparation of reading list, content by journal service, SDI service and newspaper clipping. Whereas indexing and abstracting services help the user in retrospective search of literature in the field of interest. User education is a formal training facility offered by the university and research libraries to interest user in an effective use of bibliographical search tools. Well, thank you learners for patiently listening and understanding about the module Modern Library Services. We'll meet in the next module, till then, goodbye. Jeevan ye prakashit karne, raho ko alokit karne Hum apna deepak swayam bane धन साधन समय की सीमा से कभी पढ़े हम कहीं पढ़े वे विषय की लोच से यू